Hi, George Romanic here. Welcome to Fundamentals of Weather and Climate playlist. In today's video, we are going to talk about radiation, which is a method of heat transfer. All objects around us emit electromagnetic radiation. These walls, the atmosphere, the earth, everything. But radiation is profoundly different to conduction and convection, which I described in previous lecture. You will remember that for these two processes, we have to have a substance that is serving as a carrier for heat transfer. That is not the case for radiation. Let me demonstrate that. Somewhere far away from us is the star called the Sun. And 150 million kilometers on average from the Sun is the Earth. Sun is emitting electromagnetic waves, namely radiation, in all directions. And some of it comes to our beautiful planet Earth. For all practical purposes, the space between the Sun and the Earth is vacuum. So there is no need for medium for, to exist for electromagnetic waves to travel. In fact, they, so to speak, like most if, the, if we have vacuum, because the speed of electromagnetic waves in vacuum is the fastest speed in the universe, and that is called the speed of light, indicated by small c usually, which is approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. And you know, if you studied special theory of relativity, this is the absolute limit of speeds in the universe. Nothing can travel faster than photons, which are particles of light, and they travel at 300,000, approximately 300,000 kilometers in vacuum. As we will study later in this playlist, in a substance, speed of light is slower, and that brings all these beautiful phenomena that we have in the atmosphere, in prism, and so on. Now, when I talked about energy, you remember that I defined energy of radiation as radiant energy as this constant known as Planck constant times the frequency of light. But frequency can be written as the speed of light that I just defined few minutes ago, divided by the wavelength, which is Greek lambda. So if we have this wave that has wavelength like so, and we have this wave that has wavelength like so, which one carries more energy? According to Planck's equation, the shorter wavelength, namely this one, carries more energy than the longer wavelength. And we know that from everyday experience. We know that ultraviolet light, we would say, is high energy light. But it is high energy because it is such a short wavelength. Whereas visible light, infrared light, radio waves have long wavelengths and they do not cause harm to our body. Now, let us look into nicer graphs compared to what I plotted here, and discuss this topic further. In this table, the first column is type of radiation. So we have, for example, AM radio waves. Then this column is something that should help you to visualize wavelength of these waves, and then typical wavelength, and then we will visualize energy that is carried by wave or photon of light. First, if we start with AM waves, let's say this is their wavelength, and typical wavelength is 100 meters, so clearly this is not to scale. But it will help you to compare AM waves with other waves. Now, if we go to television waves, TV waves, typical wavelength is about 1 meter, and you can see they are shorter than AM radio waves. Then microwaves that you have in your microwave oven are about one millimeter, 10 to negative three meters, even shorter wavelength. Then infrared waves or heat waves are 10 to negative six meters, even shorter wavelength than microwaves. Then visible light 
Characteristic wavelength is 5 times 10 to negative 7 meters, even shorter wavelength. UV light, 10 to negative 8, this is already very strong UV light. It can be even weaker than this in terms of the typical wavelength. But the point is, look how shorter wavelengths these are compared to AM radio waves. And X-rays, even shorter wavelengths, approximately 10 to negative 9 meters. For a reference, size of a hydrogen atom is 10 to negative 10 meters. So this is pretty much the size of an atom. How about energy carried by these waves? As we saw in the previous slide, energy is increasing as we are decreasing wavelength. In the next video, we will study the characteristics of solar radiation as well as Earth's radiation. And we will see that Sun does not emit equal amount of energy in all these wavelengths. In fact, most of the energy coming from Sun is in the wavelengths of visible light. So it is not surprising that our eyes evolved to see visible light because most of the energy that is coming from the Sun is in the form of visible light. Previous video and today's video are discussing three topics of, of great importance in atmospheric sciences, and that is how heat is, con is con transferred from one object to the other object. And there are three ways, conduction, convection, radiation. Now, when you are sitting next to a fire, you can visualize these three means of heat transfer. If you put your hand in the fire, that is conduction. You shouldn't do it, but that is conduction. If you put your heat hand above the fire some distance, that is convection. If you are sitting five meters from the fire and you feel that heat, that is radiation being emitted from the burning wood. Until next video, goodbye.